Hi everyone, today we will be talking about the effect of CBAP on lung compliance. We will utilize the pressure volume loop in order to demonstrate these effects. We'll take a patient first that, uh, that he is on CBAP of zero. And when this patient starts inhaling, the intrathoracic pressure will go down from zero to minus five. This is a pressure of P1 to P2. The decrease in the intrathoracic pressure will result into a gradient between the trachea and the alveoli that generates flow resulting into a tidal volume into the lung. Let's say that this is a tidal volume of V1 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 250 ml of air into the lung. So in this case, a change in the pressure of minus 5 centimeters of water resulted into a tidal volume of 250. In exhalation, the pressure goes back to zero and the tidal volume would go down gradually back to zero or to the functional residual capacity of the lung. Now the second case, let's apply a CBAP of 10. So we'll start inspiration from a CBAP of 10 and with applied pressure into the lung, the lungs will be recruited. So the functional residual capacity will be increased. This patient will be breathing on a larger functional residual capacity compared to the first case. So the pressure will be dropped from P3 to P4. In this case, it is from 10 centimeters to five centimeters when the patient inhales. As a result of this change in the pressure, it would be a gradient between the tracheal pressure and the alveolar pressure. This will result into inspiratory flow that will result into larger tidal volume compared to the first case. In this case, since the lung is recruited, the patient is able to generate with the same, with the same pressure larger, larger tidal volume. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is total of 300, an increase of 50 ml of inspiratory uh, volume. So for the same change in the pressure, the pressure of five in the first case, and the pressure of five in the second case, same pressure cause will result into larger tidal volume. This means that the lung compliance is increased as a result of the recruitment effects of the CBAP. I hope this explains what, uh, what are the effects of the CBAP on the lung compliance and how it's associated with better volume for the same uh, pressure that is generated by the patient. Thank you very much.